Previously on Long Lost Friends Studio, <laughs> we sculpted a pair of zombie lovers. We did. And I have just decided they're named Rashida Bones <laughs> and Walking Ted. Oh, no. And we didn't show it then, but we also sculpted some small earthen mounds. Right. Perhaps made of grave dirt. Uh, probably. So that these two could stand upright. Right. But the point of the whole exercise yeah. was to modify those cheap craft store coffins. Oh, right, yes. To give these zombie lovers somewhere to lay their bones. Right. And to finally be at rest. Aw, so nice. So let's do that. Okay. Now here's where I laid the coffin down on some flattened sculpey. Yes. And then I used the pin tool to trace around the contour. Okay. And then you hand me some sharpened blades. Oh, yes. These things are exceedingly sharp. They and really I are. apparently am not because <laughs> I gave myself a really nasty nick. Ugh, that's gruesome. Uh, did somebody mention my good friend Nick? Uh, 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 <laughs> so then I, I put on a band aid okay, and I kept going. Oh, good. I soldiered on, Michelle. Of course. Because that's what we do around here. That's what we do. So the plan <laughs> is to take the flattened clay yes. and to attach it with some bacon bond yes. onto the top of the wood. Right. Now, this is something we didn't realize we could do. Yeah. But we've seen other people attach clay to wood. Right. And we thought we'd give it a try. Yeah. So the first thing I do after I drape the clay over the wood yeah. is to try to make the clay look like wood. So, you know, yeah. we're carrying coals to Newcastle here. But <laughs> the, the fact is this fake wood is old, aged, rough-hewn wood. Yes. This is the kind of coffin that you would find in the Old West. Oh, yes. Some cowboy is buried in a coffin <laughs> like this. Right. And I had a lot of fun making this. Yeah, you did a good job with the wood grain. Thanks. Now... The thing is, I made the lady zombie. Yes, you did. So I wanted to doll up this coffin so that it was a little less harsh. Right. A little sweeter. Yeah. So I bought one of these things. I don't even know what you call them. It's like a little heart-shaped cookie cutter. Right, exactly. And so I added a little heart. Aww. It's very romantic. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so there's my lovely lady's coffin. Yes. But you went a completely different direction with yours. I did, yeah. I used the cutters too. And I wanted the clay to look like tiered slabs of wood okay. with a beveled edge. So it's kind of a very classy coffin. A little classy, yeah. Yeah, I went more classy and less cowboy. Okay, and congrats <laughs> on not almost cutting your finger off like I did. Thank you, I tried. And like you, I used the bacon bond right. to secure the clay to the top of the lid before baking. Right, so then we toss them into the oven, yes. bake them, right. and then it's time to paint. Yes! So this is just acrylic craft paint, right. same stuff we used on the zombies. Yes. One of the things I like about trying to learn how to sculpt yeah. is that I get to use tools in a different way than I normally do with illustration. Oh, yeah. Like when we sponged all this wear oh, I know. onto your coffin. Right. This was a lot of fun. It was, yeah. And I think that the effect really kind of works. It did, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Because we wanted these coffins to look a little worn, right. a little aged, because right. there are zombies in them. I know. <laughs> I don't know if it comes off in the final video, mm -hmm. but we both chose colors for the coffin oh. that complement the clothing yeah. we painted on the zombies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's, you know what? That's the kind of detail, uh -huh. Michelle, yeah. that is going to win us a Tubi one day. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's a Tubi. Does it? Does, does YouTube have awards? Are oh. they called Tubis? <laughs> well, they should. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay, so here is one of the few times you're going to see me actually using a screwdriver. Oh, nice. Look how handy I am. I know. All right, now let's take a, a nice look at the final coffins. Okay. There they are in their final resting place. Yeah. It's peaceful here. It really is. They picked a good place. Yeah. You can hear the ducks on the pond from here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> These turned out pretty good. I think so, too. I like the way they look. I do, too. They're definitely modified from the original plain wooden box. I know. I really like that. And they have some character now. Yes. And they fit our zombie lovers to a T. Yeah, they do. Let's take a look. Okay. There they are. <laughs> yeah. Rashida Bones <laughs> and Walking Ted. Yes. Resting in their custom coffins. Ugh. 
And may I remind you, yes. they fit. Oh, they do we fit. We sculpted these zombies and they fit in their boxes. Yes. We have achieved our basic goal. We did, yes. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats to you. Look at them. In front of their new house, oh, too. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so nice. It's like American Gothic. <laughs> just is. really, really Gothic. <laughs> I love these two. I, do I think too. these two crazy kids stand a chance. Oh, I do too. They're gonna make it after all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next week, more drawing, Lou. <laughs> <laughs>